brother? What's going on? Yo, you know what's funny? I start the I start every podcast by saying that. What's going on, brother? No, like I my brother. Oh, I right. like either I my brothers, I my brother. I always start the podcast like that, bro. But I'm hurting, bro. For what, son? I was out here grinding today, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I had a I had to get uh, Issa and Jordan's video out, mm-hmm. and like I had like 45 minutes left to edit, and it took me like I got out of practice at five. I think like five o'clock. No, no, I got to practice at one, and it t- I finished it at like six o'clock. For real, it took me five hours, God. forty-five minutes, cause I had to go back and like re-edit the, the sound, cause like you could hear echoes and shit. Mm. So I had to do that for each individual person, and that shit that shit killed me, bro. Nah, yeah, I think that's a big misinterpretation when it comes to like YouTube. Everybody wants to you know do YouTube vlog all that good stuff, but like it's really a nine to five type shit. Like, hey. Y'all people, but y'all don't know the work. Yeah, for real. Shout out to y'all people, though. Shout out to y'all 60,000 on TikTok. We finally hit 60,000, bro. I do all this grinding shit for you, bro. We come up with all this random content for you, man. You know what I'm saying? But as a new treat, Jason will do the intro. Oh, oh shit. All right. Yo, what's going on, guys? Who's good, my brothers? It's No Regulars Podcast. We back at it again. I got my uh, guest here. Yeah, all right. we co host nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, though, for the first yeah. time. Yes, sir. But welcome back to another No Regulars podcast. You know what episode it is? Uh, no, wait, don't tell me. 12. Fuck. 12. 12. Shit. Damn. 17, 17. <laughs> wait, nah, 22. God damn. We already had 22 episodes, Shit. bro. We going up, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars.podcast. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at No Regulars Podcast. And if you're new to the YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notifications, go to the comment section below if you want to talk to us. Uh, you want us to talk about anything, just go hit the comments, you know, we're good peoples. And you don't have to just hit my comments, you guys could, or you don't have to hit my DMs, you can go to Jason DM too if you want to talk to them. Absolutely. Because you're the first person that, like, somebody requested you back. You I don't that. think I told you. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did? No, you did, yeah. Like, so you said, no, nah, let me tell y'all something behind the scenes. This dude thought it was me commenting on my own thing, talking about bringing him back. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Because I forgot what it said. It said something, it said something like Kai, so I thought it was like, you was trying to make fun of Jakai, that oh, was your okay. name. I was like, dang, this nigga really fiending like Fritz. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. Hey, Fritz, it's number minute 230, bro. Put your name down. Yeah, nah, now he's going to sit here and talk about how many times Fritz's name was mentioned. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill. But shout out to y'all, man. But we got a good episode coming for y'all. And uh, yeah, you got anything you want to start off with, man? Um, or you want yeah, me to start? I got you, actually. I want to talk about this one thing. Because yes, I'm into like um alternate universes. Do you believe in that kind of stuff? Like parallel and alternate universes? Ooh. I low key do. I think it's I think it's like crazy interesting. So um, it's called quantum immortality. Yeah. It's when um, so it's like you never really truly die. It's like um, so like the consciousness cannot accept death. So that when we actually die, right, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that you died because it can't accept it. Mm-hmm. And all that happens is like this consciousness right here in this universe gets transferred to another one that's either slightly different or like like hella different but you wouldn't know because it's just transferring consciousness so is that is that like being born again kind of but you wouldn't know that that's why it's like that's why it's called quantum immortality because it's technically never dying oh so it's like if we die in this universe are we good do you think we're gonna be the same person in another universe though um mm, that's that's the thing right so like when the tra- like that's the whole this is the whole theory yeah. when the transfer like the consciousness transfers mm-hmm. i don't know if like you actually perceive that you died so i don't know if you think that anything's different you might just li- like live life and that's normal to you whatever mm. was going on over there that's crazy though yeah like a mad see do you think we can go through dimensions mm. i think it's possible i don't think like us right here on this universe this earth i don't think we know how to do that yet no but i'd be dumb not to think that it's possible I don't yeah because i heard like I was watching some shit the other day about dimensions, and he said that the way dimensions is, right, so it's like a big bubble and, like, many little bubbles inside. So, like, those bubbles bounce off each other and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, I heard supposedly somebody, like, actually went through another dimension because there was, like, a little puncture in one of the bubbles, and somebody was able to come through. And then he was saying something about, because the guys were, they was asking him questions because he was, like telling them shit that's about to happen like coronavirus he told them like all this shit's gonna happen yeah no it's it's crazy it was i forgot where i heard it or read it about and it was i forgot i think it was a um it was like a lab a laboratory in like massachusetts some shit like that they they was like working on experiments and supposedly they punctured a hole in the r dimension and leaked somebody else to go into the r's 
and he was saying like the how to get back how to go back in time like time travel is not like how we think it is it's not like like reversing shit like that it's like going into different bubbles that where time is different or some shit like that mm. nah yeah it's crazy because the whole thing with like dementias is like we i think we live in a in the third dimension or something mm-hmm. yeah Meaning, so like the I, i've heard something before again i'm not really knowledgeable so i might sound stupid that hey, like bro. Dimensions aren't like technically separated, but we're just living in the third dimension. But like right, like where we are right now could be the second dimension as well. But like we wouldn't be able to see it because we only see in the, the what, like our dimension oh, sort of thing. That's not crazy. So like right now, right here in our dimension, I'm in your room. But in like the fourth or the fifth or second dimension, like this is like a Burger King or like we're inside of a wall or like the I'm ocean. I'm not gonna lie, I heard some shit like about like how that works. But like I was listening to them and I was like I was so confused. Nah, like yeah, it's, it's some crazy, crazy shit. Like. You ever watch Interstellar? Yeah. Like, you you know how that shit, like, how that movie worked, right? So, mm-hmm. I finally watched the movie. That shit was crazy. It's a great movie. Of how, like, he said, to go back in time, like, you need, like, a significant amount of force of, like, gravity and shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, it, you have to literally get pulled into, like, a new, like, time zone. Yeah. And, like, you know how, like, it flipped back on him, right? Like, mm-hmm. the, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You think, that's crazy. Like, imagine that shit's true. Yeah. I don't want to say it's not true because, you know, I, I don't know, you know, but yeah. I, it has to be true, right? There's I mean, no way it's not possible. They did. They did say parallel universes was true. Yeah. Who so, said that? I think or they they thought I think that's what they said on the news. Mm. They they found something like in our Antarctica, like parallel universe, some shit like that. That's fucking wild. He uh, said I, it said like everything is like backwards. Mm. <laughs> so crazy. bro. Shit. Imagine crazy we girls universe. in that universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is the regulars podcast, not the no regulars. <laughs> shit like that. Shit. I'll probably be bad as fuck. But um <laughs> Nah, that's crazy though. What's that shit called again? Uh quantum immortality. Quantum immortality. So it's basically when we die, we just keep going through dimensions. Yeah, pretty much we just go to an alternate version of ourselves somewhere else. Mm. And the consciousness transfers over. What what do you so do you think that's what happens when we die, or what do you think happens when we die? Honestly, I don't know. I thought about it a lot, to be honest with you. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I like part of me wants to imagine there's something else because mm-hmm. it's scary to think that I die and I'm just just don't exist. It's just black and that's it. Yo. But like, I don't know. I was thinking like, what if when you die, it's not like your body. You just get trapped in your body and you just see everything. Like you're just unconscious. Mm. That's some scary shit. That's scary as fuck. You just get buried or like, exactly. cremated. And that's you're just sitting there. And that's why that's why some that shit niggas be saying like ghosts and shit like yeah. them niggas just sitting in the graves and shit. Yeah. I don't think that's true. I heard like when you die, it's like I heard some BS. It was like you, whatever you last regretted, you hold on to that regret and you keep reliving your life till you, uh, what's that called? Till you fulfill your like goal of like achieving that shit. Well, I mean, I guess. I mean, I've heard something so like when apparently when you're dying or like when you're about to die, your subconsciousness or like the your entire brain just relives everything. Like that's why people say your life flashes before your eyes. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's kind of what they're talking about, but I don't I don't I'm not too sure that's true. You think you think they try to figure out what happens after death? Um they had to have like but kill himself mm-hmm. and just re- revive themselves. <laughs> I don't, I'm not entirely sure that's possible, but I think I think so, right? Um, they wouldn't tell us though because if they like if they're trying to figure out what happens after death, they would probably just need to kill people and kill people. And oh kill yeah, people, like, hell yeah, and shit like that. Hey, maybe that's what they're trying to do with yeah. all this COVID. Yeah. That's what I'm Yo, saying. Bro. Me? Yo, I'm saying we bro. might be cracking the cold. It's my nigga. possible. That's why they got these little COVID shits. We got vaccine shots. Maybe we might die in a couple of years, but mm-hmm. chill. Hope not. Yeah, shit. But like, but since we're talking about this, right? Mm-hmm. What What's a big secret? Do you think the government's hiding from us or the world? Like, what what is the biggest secret you think is being uh, what is the bi- I can't say it. What is the biggest secret that's being kept from mankind mm. by the world, by the government? Like, do you know? Like, it could be about aliens. It could be about like freaking uh, what's it called? World leaders and shit like that. Um. So you know, the part of me just wants to say aliens because obviously they they got to be in contact, right? And they're yeah, yeah. obviously hiding it from us. But I want to say that um. They, they have to know a way how to, like, prevent death, right? Yeah. Or just, like, to live forever. They have to know. There's yeah. no fucking way. We've been around for however many years, and there's no way we haven't found out how to stop death or, like, mm. prevent it. There's just no way. Oh, I'm not buying that. I feel like they have, but like, they, they don't want to because they're exactly. afraid of, like, mm-hmm. overpopulation. And also, what I what I think they're hiding from us is something in our food. Like, either in America, like, the American government, something in the food. Because, like, you ever, like, eat... 
some like I heard I was watching this video on TikTok. It was like a girl. She went to like Peru or Colombia, and she said she ate OD and didn't and lost like weight. But when she comes to America, she doesn't eat as much as she did back there, but she gained like twelve pounds. And like you ever notice, like like for me, like when I eat McDonald's, I eat like when I eat a lot, I get like a Big Mac or like some chicken nuggets and fries, and I still be hungry. And it's mm. like I want more of that mm. food all the time. Like I swear. But if I eat something at home, like my mom cooks, it's like. I'll, like I'm I'm full, but yeah. it's like I don't want no more. No, nah, yeah, I, I, that's hundred percent possible. Cause I mean, you heard about the whole Coca Cola thing, right? About what? How, like back in the day, like when Coca Cola was first made, like they put genuine Coke in it so yeah. that you'd want to keep on doing it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you think? I feel like, I feel like honestly, yeah. I, I think you mention it, yeah. Because when I get McDonald's, like I'm never like, damn, I'm stuffed. Fuck out of here. Never. Like, and it's like when you eat fast food or like shit like that, it's like, damn, I'm mad tired. But if I if my mom cooks food like something like fresh, it's mm-hmm. like. I'm not even tired, but like I began the itis with McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, mm-hmm. and also like corn. You know how you know we're not supposed to digest corn. Like we can't digest corn. Yeah. Like why do we eat it so much? Isn't it's in damn near everything. So I'm not gonna lie. I fucking that's, I love corn, bro. bro. I'm a big fan. Like I like corn too, but it's like I heard like you can't physically digest it. No, yeah, that's why you always poop it out and shit like that. Yeah, yeah and it's like we have corn syrup, corn mm-hmm. starch, co- like. We eat the corn, yeah. and like we feed it to the animals, and that's, yeah. I heard that's not even good for the animals. I never heard that. Like, I think that's why people, like you know, they say they uh, section out like the grass-fed meat. I'm like, wasn't these animals are eating grass? Mm-hmm. They talking about oh, grass-fed beef is better than regular beef. I'm like, what the fuck is in this? Bre-? Like, what the <laughs> fuck they feed these niggas? Yeah, but I don't know, and I feel like they be lying to us about like, I feel like we're doing. I I be feeling like we're doing everything wrong. Like, you ever, you ever heard about, like, they said, like, hot showers are bad for you? I've never heard of that. They said hot showers aren't good for you. Because they say, like, it opens your pores. And, uh-huh. like, when you, so you, the dirt, like, in um in the shower, there's, like, chemicals and shit in, like, the water, like, the tap water. Yeah. That shit gets into your pores. And it says you're supposed to take a cold shower. And they and they be preaching how good cold showers are for you. Like, how it decreases depression, decreases anxiety, gives you <laughs> energy. I'm like, Hell no, that's, damn, that I'm can't ch- be true. I don't know. I be seeing all over TikTok. All the motivational niggas on TikTok be talking about that shit. Be like, yo, you got to take a 30 second cold shower a day for 30 days. You, your life will change. I'm like, I tried it one time. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> no cap. That was so bad. I nah, was in that yeah. bitch like shivering. Nah, I feel like that. No, that would give me more anxiety. He'd be like, damn, I really got to get cold for a second. That's what I'm saying. It's like, and it says it gives you energy. That. Maybe. And like, you ever seen those people that be doing those little cold plunges? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that for? Fucking, they're just, they're nuts. Like, those people are fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> like, like for, for athletes, we we use cold baths for like, um when we're sore and shit, because yeah. we don't want to put ice on everything. It's quicker. Yeah. But like, these niggas just jumping in there every day in the morning. Like, what is mm-hmm. that? Is that, am I doing something wrong here? Like, Honestly, maybe. I might have to try that, because like, the way niggas talking, my life going to change? <laughs> I'm going to need that. They say you're like motivated, like everything... Everything helps out. I'm like, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Hey, bro. Maybe. I also think the government's hiding a lot of weapons from us. Oh, yeah. 100%. We, we probably have some crazy shit. You know they made a, a heart attack gun? Huh? They made a heart attack gun. I feel like it's a, like, what does that even mean? Like, does it just send, like, pulses to your heart? Like, like to overwork It was or like something? a gun that shots, like, shoots like a dart. And it's like, it feels like a little needle. And then in seconds, like, your heart just, like, mm. just uh, stops. And they, they was going to use it in, like, World War Two. It was around back then? Either World War Two or Vietnam War. It was mad old, like, in the 80s. And, like, they were, it was all conspiracy, but, like, they admitted, like, yo, yeah, we did have a heart attack gun. Because that's cheese. I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Imagine some nigga on the battlefield shooting a heart attack gun, my nigga. And. Ooh. I think the murder rates would go up if heart attack guns were, like, on market. It's way easier to get away with it, right? I mean, like, compared to, like, bullets and all that, it leaves all powder and yada yada. But a heart attack gun, just a little, like, you know, like a little blow dart. Hey, maybe the CIA's using it. And that's why all these people be dying of heart attacks. It's, it's hey, possible. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Uh, CIA killing all these niggas like Bob Marley. Mm. But, um, and then I heard the the government, they use fake uh animals. What would be the purpose of fake animals? To, like, supposedly uh monitor, like, wildlife. Oh, like I seen a I seen a picture of like a fake uh dove just flying. It looks real. So I'm like, if they can have fake animals in the wild, what 
what stops them from having that shit outside my crib in the that park? That is true. Hey, bro. I don't know. Corey was talking about pigeons are really cameras. No, yeah, I've heard about that all the time. <laughs> I've heard about that. Because I've never seen a baby pigeon before, bro. Have you? Hmm. <laughs> nah, I he, really got, he had me thinking. I ain't gonna lie. He said, I ain't never seen a baby pigeon. I never seen a pigeon in the nest. I never seen a pigeon lay an egg. That is true. He said, You never seen a pigeon bleed. That is true. I never, when I, I seen a ran over pigeon, it don't look like it had blood in it. I ain't seen no blood on the floor. Like, if a cat ran over, that's got, fucking crazy. Hey, it's see, possible. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I know, bro, they watching this, they watching me doing this podcast mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they got some shit like that, bro. And um, what's it called? I seen somebody with a flying car too. Hmm. Yes. Nah, come first, where? first flying car. It was in um. I looked at. I seen it on TikTok. It goes. It went seventy thousand feet in the air. Get the fuck out! I of I swear to God. I swear. How? I don't know. It looks like a car. Like it looks like a Lamborghini, but it got wings and it goes like one hundred sixty miles an hour. You sure that was real? I don't know. I seen it. it was flying in the air. <laughs> I swear to God, that I was is crazy. Son. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can. That shit. I'll probably send it to you later. Yeah, but that okay. shit was wild, bro. That's wild. If that exists, that's fucking like that's that's next level shit. Like that's. Do you think we could have flying cars though? Mm, um, they would have to. I don't know, cause like I don't know what happened. When we actually developed cars in general, but like. Now you got air traffic control. There's going to be stoplights in the air. That's what shit. I'm saying. Like, that would be like, people be saying, like, oh, we're going to, because they thought we was going to have flying cars now. Mm-hmm. So there was, um, then people going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to have flying cars. Everything's going to be bad. Like, no, you know how long no. it's going to take, bro? No, that's like, because there's got to be like some regulation in the sky, right? Not sky roads, but like, there's got to be places you can and cannot fly. Yeah. Because like, niggas just going to be running into yeah. each other and just flying around like, like fucking Codename Kizik door and shit. Literally, yeah. Like, just be tweaking. Like, exactly. nah, bro. I don't know about all that shit, bro. But, um, oh, let me ask you this one question. Mm-hmm. So, if your life was on the line, right? So, say you're in the woods and, like, you break your leg. Okay. And you can't get up. But you're with one person, one of these cartoon characters. Which one would it be? Mm-hmm. It's Ed from Ed and Eddie. Not the, not the little one, the dumb one. <laughs> okay. Patrick from SpongeBob, Billy from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, or Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. You know all those characters, though, right? Yeah. Okay. And they're all fucking dumb. Like, they're <laughs> all stupid. Um, mm. uh, I'm trying to think. Who's the most intelligent, to be honest? I think uh, maybe maybe it's going to be either between Patrick and Sheen, because I think Billy's like, Billy's like it's done up for Billy. He's the <laughs> dumbest character on this list. Has to be. Right? It's either um, him. I thought it was either him or Patrick or Ed. I thought Sheen was the smartest. Mm. Like, Sheen is the smartest. That's what I'm saying. The more saying. normal. Yeah, he's the most normal out of all of them. I want to say Patrick. I want to say he was smart for an episode, but I honestly can't even remember. I don't think so. See, I'm going to say Patrick too, but like the reason why is because like when I used to watch SpongeBob, Patrick used to do good things, but mm-hmm. he didn't realize they were good. Yeah, that's true. Like remember when I was watching this the other day when uh, they was painting Mr. Krabs' house? Yeah. And like SpongeBob needed a new dollar because it got paint on it. And Patrick <laughs> pulled out the dollar and he was like, oh, I found a dollar. But he kept using it in the thing. <laughs> I feel like if I broke my leg, Patrick would be like, oh, I got some crutches and I just need to snatch it from him real quick. Nah, but you're forgetting the other part where he said we have technology where they could have, you know, implying that they could have printed it, but he took the dollar, put it on the table and smashed it with the computer. <laughs> so I don't know about Patrick. I, uh, I might go Sheen. I mean, he's all into that, like, you know, superhero, ultra mega lord stuff. So yeah, maybe he has ultra some, lord. some survival skill, maybe ultra lord did something like that. But uh, I might have to give it to Sheen to be honest. Ah. Uh. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Yeah. Oh. But Patrick, mm. actually, mm, wait, wait, hold up. So, right, in terms of, like, getting out of the woods, right, and getting me out of the situation, mm-hmm. Ed's kind of a tank. That boy could probably Ooh. pick me up and just fucking haul ass out of the woods right, that's and take good. me to safety. That's low-key. That's a good choice. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even think about that, because Ed was strong as hell. Strong as hell. He, he used to knock down walls and shit. <laughs> yes. like, he, was, he was dumb, but he was smart. Yeah. Nah, d- he was strong, I bet. Yeah. Ooh. So I might, I might have to give it to Ed, honestly. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Patrick still. I think I'm gonna go with Patrick mm. Not bad. All right. Uh, what movie character death really hit your heart the most? Mm, okay, so I have to think. I want to say, I think because like the first time, right, I used to be one of those like, you know, cool kids. I'm strong. Movies can't hurt me. It's a movie. Yeah. I watched I Am Legend mm. and that end scene when he blew himself up, dude, I, I bawled. It was the really? first time I cried during a movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it, it hurt me so much because, you know, you're rooting for him the entire movie and then he just sacrifices himself for, you know, the kid in the, 
the girl. Dang, nah. I was thinking about that, but I was thinking about when he killed his dog. Yeah, no. That, that was sad. That is rough. I was so sad. I was like, damn, not my nigga, bro. Yeah. That was his only friend. Yeah. Did you see like the there was like a remake of I Am Legend where he didn't kill himself? Uh, no, I've not. It was like a, it was like another ending uh-huh. where like he like convinced them to like relax, like I could save you, and the nigga like stopped. But nobody. Wants I to wish I would have saw that. No, fuck out. I, I want to <laughs> see that shit. Hurt my. I was thinking about it for like days, bro. I was like, damn, man. Really? Fuck. No, one that hurt. My, you ever watch Marley and Me? Mm-hmm. Remember when the dog died? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. No, I wasn't expecting rough. to cry, bro. That's very rough. I'm that was a good lie. acting by the, by the dog, bro. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> that nigga Marley had me balling. I would never watch that movie again just because of that reason. Yeah. Marley, like, oh, um, like I was not expecting that shit. Why? Why they have to do that? Emotion. That's exactly what, the response that you got is exactly what they wanted. That's good. That's good directing. It's great. It's really Either good. that or you ever watch um Inside Out. Um, is that the the one with the Disney movie? Yeah, yeah, with the it's like the emotions and shit. Mm-hmm. Did you did you watch it? I've seen bits and parts of it. I did think I know what sad part you're talking about, but I don't know. Did you see when Bing Bong died? Is that like the elephant, the pink yes. elephant? Yes. yes, son. I was watching that movie. So the way he died was like there's like a abyss in their mm-hmm. brain where like the memories go like when you forget, mm-hmm. and like they both fell in there. It was her. And it, it was sadness's fault. I hate sadness. I hate that bitch. I'm not going to lie. I mean, sadness. Yeah. Like, she used to do the dumbest things. She used to be like, yo, I'm so sad. Let me touch. And everything she touches just turns bad. Uh, I just wanted her just to fall into the, <laughs> the abyss and die. Yeah. Because Bing Bong was down there. And then the, I forgot, Joy came up and she was happy. She's like, Bing Bong, where are you? He's like, he's like, go save Riley. He's like, take it to the moon. I'm like, nigga, mm-hmm. chill out. I'll cr- I didn't cry. Yeah, I've seen that scene, yeah. I didn't cry. I was really sad, though. Nah, yeah. Um, some about Disney movies. I I know it's for kids, but watching it as an adult, dude, it hits different. The it sads did. in those movies are like crazy sad, bro. Like, I don't know about the new ones now, though. No, nah, um, I think the most recent one I watched is Luca. Yeah, it's about like the fish boy, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Almost cried. Like bro, I'm telling, they are good at what they do. <laughs> like they're phenomenal. <laughs> the last Disney movie I really watched was Moana. Mm. That was the last one. Yeah. Like I seen like it was like Coco mm-hmm. or some shit like that. That was good too. But other than that. I just be watching the old Disney movie. Mm-hmm. Bangers, absolute bangers, bro. But you cried during. Well, wait, okay, time out. How did you? What? Where were you watching this movie at? Luca. Yeah. Um. You was in the movie theater? Hell no. You, you was can't. at home? Yeah. By yourself? No, it was my sister. Okay. But I wanted to watch the movie. I'm not even a cat. Not even a cat. I was like, yo, we should watch this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Where is? And you just started crying. Like it was. I, it was very close. If my sister wouldn't have been there, I probably would have cried. If I'm being <laughs> honest, hundred percent, I probably would have. What is it about, anyways? You turn to a mermaid. Um. So it's a um. Yeah, it's kind of like a mermaid sort of situation. He lives underwater, but his parents are overbearing. Mm-hmm. But um, the people they don't know that they could when they come into land, they're regular humans. Mm-hmm. And it's all about him. He meets a guy that um was on land that's also a fish person. It's trying to you know like um be normal as a person and a fish and bring them together because the people in the town hunt the fish obviously for food and resource. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. So it's like one of those. Damn. That sounds very informational for a Disney movie. And that's what I'm saying. T- they have really good underlying meanings for the adults and both for the kids, which is why I think that Disney movies are like genius. Mm, I give it to them. Shout out Walt Disney, bro. True. Big shout out. I heard, I heard they're... You heard about Walt Disney? Talking about how he's frozen? Yeah, you know, I heard they're unfreezing that nigga soon. <laughs> they're going to try to. Is he actually frozen? Supposedly in the Disney studios, like, I don't know if it's him or if it's his head mm, that's frozen. I've also frozen. heard about that, yeah. So I don't know. And, like, they said when he died in, like, 1951 or something like that. He died in the 50s. Mm. He he wants to be, like, thawed out in, like, this area, like, in the 20s. Mm. So, I thought it was this year. So, it might happen in the summertime. That'd be fucking cool. That'd be, like, the, like that'd be insane. Like, like do you think... you think... I heard there was people that actually do that. Freeze themselves? Like, freeze themselves. And, like, they get thawed out. I think that's possible. Like, what, is, what does freezing yourself actually do? I mean, do you like do you not age? Like, does supposedly, I guess you still gotta be hungry and stuff. Like, your body still needs to function. Unless, I mean, you could literally if you're getting frozen to the point where, like, I guess your body doesn't function. I yeah, guess. I guess because like you know how food is when you put it in the freezer, like yeah. it, it stays the same. Mm-hmm. So I guess they thought that with humans and like when they freeze you, I guess you might be dead, but they're trying to like they were gonna like revive you once they thaw you out. Because mm. maybe like if you need some heat, like maybe that will work. But like. That's like a time capsule, my nigga. Like yeah, going to no. the future. Like an easy way to go in the future. You just go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if niggas done that. I heard like, I don't think it's true, but they said like 300 people tried that shit. 
Like, there's people in incubators right now, frozen. That is nuts. That is crazy, bro. I couldn't... I don't know. Like, would you do it? <sighs> like, say... Say, like, you're, like, 80. No, nah, actually, no. I'm just, I'm just gonna die. Fuck that. Yeah, that's what, what I'm hell? saying. I don't know if I want to see what's going on. Because, I mean, as the world's going right now, all these conspiracies about we're not even gonna be here in, like, a couple hundred... I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to see what, what happens. It so. might be deed for us, people. That's what I'm saying. Like... It's scary. But... Speaking of like going into time, I, I, I want to ask you this before, but, but going back into time. Mm. So like, if you had the chance to go back in time, right? Probably like, I'll say two, three years ago, with your knowledge about COVID and you have a cure and you have like all the information you have, it's just you though. Do you think you can convince the people of the world about COVID and how to like stop it by yourself? Like nobody else in this world knows about it. Nah. I don't think so. People either. are so fucking stubborn and refuse. Like, it's like almost like people don't want help to a certain point. That's true. So I feel like I, I just couldn't get it across. One, I don't care enough. If you're not gonna believe me, <laughs> die then. So what I'd probably do if I had that information and the cure and stuff, mm-hmm. I'd become a billionaire. Like, fuck it. You guys don't want to believe me? When it hits, come to me. Million dollar per cure. Have fun. Mm, that's kind of smart. Yeah. Like I feel like if I if I try, they're gonna think I'm crazy. Yeah. And like I'm gonna be like, yo, I got the cure right here. But like they're just gonna be like, yo, shut the fuck up, little bum. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dang, so <laughs> yeah. what the fuck I'm gonna do? But like, just watch, like you said, just watch these niggas die, bro. Hey, they'll figure it out. Hey, you'd be like, nah, you dead will make a billion dollars off that shit though. Mm-hmm. Like the um, like the mask companies in China, them niggas making millions, my nigga. Yup. To make these little dollar masks. Mm-hmm. Shit, I should have put, I should have invested in that That's shit. That's what bro. I'm saying, bro. Having prior knowledge, like. About like things in the future could get you so fucking rich. It's unbelievable. That's why. That's probably. Ooh. That's probably why people. But I heard shit like that. Like if you change something in the past, mm-hmm. like it won't change in the future. That is true. That like so yeah. That's the thing with um time travel or whatever. If you wanted to do something like that, there's very minimal that you could change. Yeah. In terms of what's going on, until the said thing happens. And then I know from what you there, mean. Cause um yeah apparently like let's say like if we move to the past if I move this water bottle like this and that sparked a conversation and it didn't in the past everything from there changes yeah like the little butterfly effect yeah but I don't know maybe that's why maybe they have time travel mm-hmm. but they don't want people to go back in time to do some cheese like that yeah because that's honestly if, if somebody went back in time and knows how to do that like I don't think people should know how to do that no because they're gonna spam that absolutely shit. absolutely not yeah, I will absolutely. spam that the shit. world would literally be fucked it'd like be, it'd be changing every five seconds because. <laughs> It's Someone not possible. To, yeah. Like shit. Might be doing might be doing shit right now, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause that's true. I don't know. We well, got anything you want to talk about? Uh yes, I do have another subject. Uh, let me pull it up again in my notes. Uh it's nothing too crazy, but I thought it was such a simple question that it actually, you know, is interesting. So it's how much does fashion go into one's appearance, right? Mm. So you could look at somebody, let's say Drake, for example. Yeah. If he dressed in like Hello Kitty or like Hot topic attire is that shit cool now? Yeah, a hundred percent. I'm not gonna so? lie. If that nigga Drake will wear like shit like that, they will. First of all, they'll judge him. Mm-hmm. A week's worth of judging. Yeah, be like, yo, you look crazy. But then the, just just need multiple people. I don't think one person maybe. Mm-hmm. If it's that bad, I think it needs to be a a group of people mm-hmm. like Drake, little baby, little Dirk. They all need to do that because if it's just one, if it's that bad, then it's deed up. Mm-hmm. Because like expect like honestly, if Drake were to go to Skechers and collab with them and make a shoe, mm. Skechers would be yeah, that's up what I'm right saying. now. So how much does like fashion really carry one's appearance? You know how far does fashion really take you in terms of look? Uh, I think, I think it does a decent amount. Cause like <laughs> if you one ugly nigga, but mm-hmm. you got some, you got style to you. Yeah. that it, it helps a lot. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I just feel like whatever them people, whatever like Drake, uh, I was gonna say Soldier Boy, Kanye, whatever they want, whatever they make, like Kanye's freaking like the Yeezy slides, mm-hmm. like Which yeah, them right now. You know what like when I first seen them, I was like, yo, these shits look crazy. Yeah. But when you see more people, like multiple people wear them, I'm like, yo, they don't look that bad. And it's like, do I want one? Mm-hmm. Will I want to pay three hundred three hundred dollars? Yeah. It's like, but I think it plays a lot. Mm. Or not a lot. It's like, depending on who you are. Yeah. Like us. Yeah. If we wear some shit, niggas don't give a fuck. No. But if it's something nice, but if it's some, if it's something nice, 
and like you did it in a certain way that nobody's never seen before, then you're you're golden. Mm. No, yeah, I think fashion's like honestly a little dangerous because um, if you think about it, like people will fuck up their priorities just to like get a new pair of shoes, right? Like hell yeah, they're like damn, I got rent this month, but the elevens are dropping again. I might need to cop those instead, like type shit. Like fashion is dangerous as hell. The people, like, the people that think we'll do for fashion and like social acceptance is crazy. Yeah, like I think I I've made it to that point in my life where I'm like. I really don't need all this shit. Yeah. Like, I used to just want, like, the new shoes coming out, or I want, uh, what's it called? I want the nice clothes and shit, but now it's just like, damn. I got I to gotta spend my money on my podcast. I got to spend my money with my girl when we go out to eat and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't need... I feel Like, honestly, like, sorry to all my single kings. If you Once you have a girl, it's like, you really don't need to spend money on that yourself that much. Yeah. Because, like, you... You try, you spend all your money to look a certain way to get a girl, but now mm-hmm. you got it. You don't need to do it no That's more. That's what I'm saying. Um, it might be an insecurity thing, right? If we're talking yeah. about on the subject of women, um, I don't know if I agree with, uh, like, why? I understand you dress good, look good sort of thing. Yeah. But who are you trying to impress besides me? Like, if I'm okay with you wearing sweatpants, why do you have to go above and beyond? Who, your thing? girl? Yeah, if it was my girl, right? I mean. Like, who are you trying to impress at that point? I feel like it's just it just makes them feel better. Hmm. So, like. Like, for me, like, I don't care. Like, I wear sweats all the time. So, so it's like, if, but if she wants to wear something nice just because she wants to look pretty and stuff mm-hmm. like that, I guess then that's just her. Like, they just want to see themselves in me. Like, oh, I look good. But some girls actually be wanting to, like, niggas to, like, come pull up on That's just, what I'm saying. Some girl. That's why, fellas, if you looking for a girl, bro, it's okay. It's okay to simp for a girl. But you got to simp for the right girl. That is true. Like, like I'm, I'm about to spit a game for y'all niggas. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll get my notes up. Shit, yeah. like, like it's not bad to do like nice things for a girl, like lovey dovey shit, mm-hmm. like take her out on dates, like compliment her shit like that. But if it's to a girl that you that doesn't seem like she wants you as much as you want her, then it looks like simping. Yeah. But like for me, I got lucky. I I pushed all my chips in for Jay, but I ain't yeah. gonna lie. If she would if she would have done me, I would have looked dumb as fuck. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I did so much, but. Yeah, like, it's okay to, like, because people be afraid to, like, show that side of themselves because they're mm-hmm. afraid to get, like, either denied or judged or some shit like mm-hmm. that. And, so, and, suppo- and some girls don't like that shit. Yeah. Some girls, is like, like hood niggas, scammers. Yeah, like <laughs> whack shit. That shit's whack. I, you know, maybe it's a bad take, but I'm going to be honest with you, my male audience, that shit's whack. That shit is not whack, cool, bro. Bro. It's not good to scam. Shit's like ass. Niggas want to get money so bad. Like, no, nah. my nigga, like... <laughs> like you think we get money right now, my nigga? Same, <laughs> now, go go work at McDonald's. It's more respectable than you going team thousand money scheme. Fuck that shit's trash. Go work a regular job. Get your actual bread up. <laughs> that is more respectable. I ain't gonna lie. Work at McDonald's, but yeah, like it's okay. Like I feel like nowadays these niggas is afraid to do shit like that because they're afraid of what other people's gonna say. So I mean, actually, a really big problem of mine for a while, and it's you know I'm still working on it, sort of thing. Um, showing like nice emotions right it's not bad obviously it's like good traits and stuff like that but yeah. that's like to me for a while it was exposing my weakness yeah and it, it's, it's hard especially like not really so much to females i don't really care if a female thinks i'm weak whatever you but it's to my boys like exposing a weakness to my boys is like crazy because i can get fried yeah. they use it against me like you know it's it's i think it's hard a little bit it i mean yeah it is but for me, like, I didn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just nah, like, yeah. you know, niggas going to call me simp, whatever. I'm just going to let it rock. But, yeah, I understand. I understand what you're talking about. Because, mm-hmm. like, like like you said, like, you're ex- you're afraid to, like, expose that part of you. And, like, if you do it to the wrong girl, it's like, damn, I just told this girl everything. Wasted time. Wasted time. So, like, honestly, it's either, you got to pick the right one, fellas. You got to pick right. the right one. So, don't worry. There's a little girl out there for you, little peoples. But... Yeah, like, if you, don't be afraid to be, like, simpy or whatever. And I, I'm sorry, we we talking about girls on this channel, but we talk about random shit. This yeah. just came up. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Um, we like, this is my light skin brother. Real right? quick, real quick. To everybody, whether it be male, female, gay, any of that kind of stuff, don't try and sit there and love somebody else. If you can't love yourself, it's never going to work. That's ever. true. Ever. That's true. If you can't give yourself 100%, how the fuck will you give anybody else it? That's facts. That's facts. But I also think that... If you do, like, that one person can help you love, love yourself. That is true. So if you that find, like, true. it really just happens to find the right person, bro. Because, like, there's really girls out here that would, look, like, just sit there and just let you do all this shit for them, knowing in the back of their head they're going to leave you in, like, two months. Sick fucking people. That's sick. I'm not going to lie. Sick shit. That is literally sociopathic. I don't care. Like, it's <laughs> terrible. Like, these girls. Oh, bro. 
Like, let's not get on this girl yeah, train. Yeah, right, 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 Valentine's Day is coming up. Hey, I hope if you're uh, single, best of luck. If you're not, have a good Valentine's Day. Yes, sir. Damn, Valentine's Day. I got. Oh, I already bought my girl something for Valentine's Day. But anyways, you be watching the show on Netflix, bro? Uh, a little bit here and there. I try to try to keep up the trends. What's well, you be watching shows or movies? Um, because Netflix been jumping lately. I ain't gonna lie. I watch shows when like they're really popular, like in terms of like Squid Game, American Horror Story, like, when they were blowing up that I kind of stuff. I still don't watch Squid Game. It's not worth watching. It okay. Now. okay. I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. Did you watch Money Heist? I have not. No, but I've heard a lot about it's it. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It makes you want to rob a bank. Really? Because <laughs> they do it. It seems so easy. Mm-hmm. Like niggas, if something goes left, I gotta. I'll bring it back on course. The professor really liked that. That stuff. But I want to talk about Ozarks, right? Because mm-hmm. I remember I, I told you about this earlier. In the yeah. Ozarks is a good show because it talks about like, what's it called? You know what money laundering is? Uh, I have somewhat of like an understanding. I'm not exactly too sure. So what what money laundering is? It's like say I work for the cartel, right? Okay. And I get money for selling my drugs, dirty money. Mm. So I can't put that all in the bank in my yeah. bank account because like IRS gonna come get me. They're like, why you got two million dollars? Yeah. So what you do is. You invest that money into small businesses, like mm. say a laundry mat, mm. say a like a mattress store. Okay. And like you put like two hundred thousand dollars, and now it looks like that company is making is um producing all your dirty money. Mm. So you're like washing it. Okay. So you're putting your money into the system without putting it into a bank. Okay. So like in Ozarks, it talks about a guy from Chicago, and um. Him and his family, him and his uh, business partner, they was money laundering for the biggest cartel in Mexico. Okay. And like his boy tried to steal money and he killed them. So he was like, since your boy tried to steal money, you're going to work for me now. Mm. And like his job in one summer, he had to, he had to wash a million dollars in the Ozarks in Missouri. So he bought like invested so much land, invested in like freaking funeral homes. Uh, hotels, motels, just bought hella shit just so the money could go into the system. Yeah. And like, he's going to make all that money back. But how do you make the money back? Because it was like, it depends on like what business you're making. Uh So like if he, so like some of the businesses wasn't like making a lot of money, but he built a casino. Okay. So that shit, he put millions of dollars in there. So that shit just kept going and going and going. Mm. And it's not like, I like, I still be confused about it sometimes, but it's just like disguising the money, I think. Mm. So it's like you, Cause like you're giving it to them to like, oh, I think it's like they buy people's businesses, right? Mm-hmm. So like they give them the money to like buy the business. So it's like now it's their money. Okay. So I think it's some shit like that. So it seems like real, but like I I, was, I wanted to talk about that because like I think there's a lot of those things like that be going on in America. In the real world. Yeah. No, hundred percent has to. I heard um, a Verizon was made off of money laundering. Like the phone company. Mm-hmm. And, like, I have a conspiracy, right? Uh-huh. I've seen this on TikTok. So, you know Mattress Firm? Yeah. So, like, you know how there's a bunch of Mattress Firms everywhere, right? Yeah. I feel like Mattress Firms is, like, some part of money laundering scheme. Because, it, think about it. No, mm. Who the fuck wants to buy, like, who the fuck really be buying mattresses mattresses like that? That is true. And they're, <laughs> like, ev- like tell me, tell me not. Mattress Firms are everywhere. No, yeah, they definitely and are. And, like, nobody be in the parking lots. No, so, it's, valid. like, how you still going business like getting revenue if there's nobody in your parking lot like you get a mattress from costco yeah like you know i think about it how often does someone really get a mattress that's man? exactly like you live like tops you might need three your whole life yeah maybe that's that's, like that's a stretch it's like but like that's what i'm saying it's mm-hmm. like when do you really need a mattress and they're everywhere yeah no they are like they're i looked it up on my phone there was like in the in the 10 mile radius there was like 10 of them that's crazy like there's as many mattress firms like McDonald's and like they're saying there's like there's not a lot of employees like the amount of employees that work in each mattress firm is probably like three to four. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. That means they're working around the clock, yeah? Yeah. But it's like there's not a lot of employees because there's not a lot of customers. But like how yeah. are you still getting, are you still in business? Like yeah. freaking Blockbuster went out of business because of Netflix. Yeah. So like I'm just saying I'm connecting even, the dots here. My Even nigga. GameStop's about to go out of business. Really? Because of um the online shits? I think I heard about it. I might be dumb again. But, like, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, because, like, I mean, what's what's the point of GameStop nowadays? That is true. Like, a lot you, of people don't go to GameStop anymore. You don't no need more. GameStop anymore, really. Because, like, you can really buy all that shit from Walmart. Mm-hmm. Like, these big companies are really just, like, eating all the little ones. Yeah. Like, freaking Amazon. Like, low-key, Amazon might take over the world. That's possible. 100%. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Like, freaking Jeff Bezos and all them niggas. Like, that nigga is so rich, it's not even funny. Like, he really... 
hit gold with that idea. He's a genius. He really is. And it's so simple. I'm not going to lie. It's so simple. It's the simplest ideas that blow up. That's what makes me mad. I'm like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? But hey, maybe this is a simple idea. This yeah, podcast. Sure, sure, sure. We're as simple as it gets, bro. Simple right. math. But who knows, bro? I feel like mattress firm, the, or I, I was thinking furniture companies too, mm-hmm. like Bob's Furniture, because they be low key everywhere too. But like, I think more people want more furniture than like mattresses. Oh, 100%. Like because, IKEA that sells furniture way more. Yeah, sales like mattress firm just sells mattresses. Yeah, no. Nobody be in there, bro. Nah. Like, I know that there's a bunch, I think there's one on like each side of 22. Yeah. So, hey, bro. Stay woke, people. These niggas. This company is built off of corruption. It has to be. Like, there's no possible way everybody, every person in this country or in the world, for se, is, like, doing the right thing. No. Because, like, it's no. balance, my nigga. No fucking way. Like, people say, like, you got to be a good guy, a good person. But nah, bro, the rich people on top, them Are niggas not, not been good scrapping, like, bro. Seen the, I haven't seen the Facebook movie, but I've heard it's all about how Mark Zuckerberg basically screwed hella people out. Mm-hmm. I seen, I seen, I watched it for class. mm and like I like I took a, a class on a uh, business corruption and like uh morality was that uh business uh business ethics. Mm-hmm. So like I watched a lot of movies about like corruption and shit like that. And I watched what was one movie? It was a movie where it was the um oh yeah it was the uh, the Facebook one mm-hmm. and like he really just did niggas just dirty just to make his business just like thrive and shit. Like he had mm-hmm. no friends at the end of it. But I'm like, hey, that is that is that really what it takes to go to the top? I don't really don't want to, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel like they be saying all these people at the top of the pyramid, they had to take a lot of sacrifices. They definitely did. So, like, who knows? I don't think it's... Well, it might be worth it. I wouldn't know. But, I don't think so. Yeah. Like, I, like, I feel like being that rich is like... I want to make a, a lot... Not a lot of money. I want to make enough money where I'm, like, comfortable in life. Yeah. I don't want to be that rich where niggas know how my net worth. Mm-hmm. And, all, like, think about that. I feel like there's a lot of people, like a lot of people in the world that are very, very, way richer than Jeff Bezos, but they just like hide di- their identity. And some you shit think like so? That. Like, just imagine, like, you got all this money in the world. You can hide your identity. That's true. How do you keep that under wraps? Hey, they got all that money, my nigga. They, they could do true. anything. They could do anything. They might just be just, they think, we think they're just normal niggas, but really they got billions, billions of dollars. That like, is true. Like, I think the, the richest people in the world is like... Jeff Bezos, the Freemasons. Mm-hmm. Like, the Freemasons, I heard them niggas control everything. You think so? I don't know. No, it's probably... I'm telling you, because, like, I don't care about all this corny shit. Money doesn't run the world. It definitely does. Money 100% runs this this world. It's that little piece of paper really changes your life, bro. Literally. But, hey, bro. I don't know, bro. What, what do I know, right? No, I, literally, what do I know? I'm just <laughs> some, the, we just some regular niggas from Jersey, bro. Literally. Just talking about <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. But... I think, do you have any would you rather questions or you got another topic you want to I talk have about? one last sort of red pill. You know, like the red pill, blue pill. So basically, it's like a would you rather. All right. Yeah. Got one right here. I have, so right, there's red pill and the blue pill. The red pill, you could restart your life at age 10 with all the knowledge that you have right now. Yeah. Or you take the blue pill and jump to 45, like when you're 45 years old, but with 50 million in your bank. Do I still have my same life or it's just, it's just still me? Yeah, you're still you. But How much do I have? Fifty million. Yeah, I'm. Gr- I'm lazy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the the fifty. The I'm gonna jump to forty five. Mm. What are you gonna do? You gonna go back in time? Yeah. So I was thinking about it like this, right? Not only do I get to fix most of the mistakes I made, but on top of that, right? I'm always if it's ever gonna, if we're ever gonna talk about the past and me reliving it, Bitcoin. I'm fucking rich anyways, bro. <laughs> All you gotta do is deal with school again, and I'm good. I'm rich. <sighs> Bitcoin will get me to where I need to be immediately. I, I was I was thinking that like invest in like new shit like that, mm-hmm. but I'm like, wait, oh, before I, I go into like, how does the Bitcoin shit work? Like, how much would you have invested to get like millions of dollars now? Um, how much back you think? then? Yeah, back then you would only need. I mean, so it all depends. I don't know the exact numbers, right? So however yeah, much one Bitcoin equated to in U.S. currency, yeah, if you would have had. I don't know. Let's say you bought 50 Bitcoins, mm-hmm. which back then maybe a Bitcoin was worth, let's I don't know, for what it's like $5. Yeah. So you spent 250 I think that is. Yeah. Maybe I'm dumb. Um, however much that is, right? Mm-hmm. You have Now you have 50 Bitcoins. Nowadays, mm-hmm. one Bitcoin equates to, I think it's like 36 k right now. $36,000. So now you have 50 $36,000. Hold on. And I that's how to... that would work. Hold on. I need to see the math. Okay, okay. Let me see. So if you... Mm-hmm. Thirty six thousand dollars times fifty. Yep, 
that's one point eight million dollars. Mm-hmm. If you just bought fifty of them shits. Yeah, back in the day, yeah. However much it equated, because it was definitely, I think it was less than, it was way less than it is now. So that's yeah. why the profit margin. So if you bought a thousand, was that? That's like five. Th- was that five thousand dollars? Mm-hmm. So times thirty six. That's thirty. Wow, you'd be a millionaire if you bought that. That's why Bitcoin was like such a big, like such a big deal because it jumped from such a low profit margin to fucking huge, and people already owned two to three or four. I wonder why though. I have no idea. That's weird. Like I don't, I don't understand stock, how that shit works. I have no clue how the stock market works. <laughs> I really don't know. I, don't know I feel nothing. like that shit's just luck. No, yeah, hundred percent. Well, I mean, mm, it is honestly because there's this thing called calls, right? Yeah. And that's you basically putting in your money and going. This will go up 5% or down 5% or whatever the percentage is. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much gambling, to be honest. You have no idea whether the stock will rise or not. <laughs> I mean, you could have an idea. So like, uh, what people do is, like, let's say Apple's dropping a new product that you know is going to do well for the company and the company's mm-hmm. going to make money. Yeah. So you could invest in that before the company goes up. Mm. Shit like uh, that, that's but. not that bad. Like, Do you invest money? Uh, I did for a little bit, but it's too stressful. Like, I was waking up at... like. Because the stock opens and closes. Yeah, like in the morning. Yeah, so I was waking up at like 4 (laughs) a.m. Bro, it's got to go up, right? And then so here's the part where people get greedy, right? So you're watching it go up, but as fast as it goes up, it goes. when people sell and cash out, it goes back down. Yeah. So you're trying to see it skyrocket, try to go to $6, right? You're like, I'm going to hold until 6. It gets right to 599, and people start selling, and boom, you just lost your fucking 599 because you wanted 6 instead. Oh, uh, so if you get, oh, dang, that's ass. Mm-hmm. Cause like I'm, I'm trying to learn how to do it. Cause like there was a guy in my school, like where I worked at, at the dome. His mm-hmm. name was Pat, and he was really good at like investing and stuff like that. And he taught, he taught Quincy how to do it, and like he, he's investing in, like a big like portfolio and shit like that. So I was gonna go with, to him. And he was gonna teach me how to do it, but like he don't work there no more. Mm. Cause like my mom said she was gonna give me some money I have in like my savings account to like invest money into it, mm-hmm. but like I don't know yet. But to go back on your question, right? I wouldn't go into the past because. Like, I don't want to change nothing that's going to change how I am today. Mm. Like, you know, like, I like I enjoyed, like, my life when I was a kid. Like, I, of course, there was times where, like, damn, I hate myself. Like, this shit ass. Mm-hmm. But, like, like meeting you guys, me and Jay and shit like that. Like, I like I don't want to, like, change something, like, in my life back then that would, like, fuck up, like, me mm. not meeting you guys and me not meeting Jay and shit like that. That is that's, a very good point. So, like, I don't want to do all that. Because I feel like I had a good life. Nah, yeah, I definitely did, too. So, it's like... Like, I, of course, I made mistakes along the way, yeah. but, like, I feel like those mistakes helped me become who I am today. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to change myself. Damn, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was like, nah, Red Bulls, are the first one's definitely the, the right answer. But now that you mentioned that, like, damn, Good. do I really not want to live the life I live right now? Like, I'm, like, to be honest, we've been, it's been a good life. I ain't going to lie. It has been, for real. Like, better than, like, in high school. Like, I remember we wasn't, like, the big popular group. We was just, mm-hmm. like, the side group. But, like, we're the only, I feel like we're, like, the only friend group that's like stayed intact no yeah 100 percent. me and uj were talking about it. i think it was when you got like you were doing the other podcast me and uj were over here and we were talking about it. we're like honestly like, let's think about it no one else is doing anything fun right they're all yeah. too cool bro they you know throw around yeah. a football we're doing fun stuff we're going on trips yeah snowboarding water parks like we're still talking everyday group chats playstation parties like regardless of us being popular and cool or not we're still having fun till this day from high school that's what i'm saying and niggas used to be looking at us like we a bunch of weirdos because yeah. we're the weirdos of the, of the school because jordan because <laughs> jordan used to freaking grab up kids and shit like that yeah. but like nowadays like niggas low-key we've been starting trends i'm not gonna lie no yeah we, i mean we've talked about this multiple times right but not on camera fucking <laughs> speed I w- we was doing speed before speed was even fucking conceived. I'm like, not gonna lie, like speed. I feel like he don't really be like that in real life, unless maybe he do. I'm not trying to judge him, like. Maybe. But we was like Jordan. That's how speed Zaki, yes. UJ, all them like we was really like like honest. If TikTok was a thing when Chris High used school? to make his videos in the stairwell, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we we are literally millions. Like I'm talking about like millions of views. Like freaking Aiden made gay being gay a thing. Mm-hmm. But we was been like that been like that like, like 2014 13 actually middle school fuck it like that far back like we was really just and we niggas used to look at us like we crazy crazy but, hey, but nowadays bro. they watching it it's hilarious hey, they watching us here. on this podcast bro yeah. they see us they see the the members that's what i'm saying hey but nah yeah i'm i'm taking that pill i'm going to 45 getting 50 million dollars me and jay lit all the niggas we up bro yeah honestly i think honestly i might have to switch my answer then cuz Nah, it's definitely worth living the life I have now. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like we did, we did all the hard work, and all I need to mm-hmm. do is just take a pill. And now I'm past all the hard work. I got fifty million dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm good. That is true. I'm Damn, good. you're right. You know what you're I'm right, saying? Right, right. Change your mind, people. 
But um, oh, before before I go into my uh, what's it called? Would you uh, would you rise and shit like that? Mm-hmm. I got I got another conspiracy question. Mm-hmm. Do you believe the government can control the weather? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I feel like they they have to have the technology to do it. Mm-hmm. But when and why would they do that? To just have control over us. Mm. Like I feel like like do you think they have like a big like there's some shit in the ocean that causes like tsunamis. Ooh. There's some shit in um the mountains that causes like hurricanes high up in the air. Like I seen like you ever seen like the planes with the the little like dispenser shit at the end? Yeah. Do you know what those are? Mm-mm. Like I heard those are like like I seen like a video like once a plane does that it, like it rains immediately right afterwards. Really? Supposedly. But nah. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. That might be just a stretch. But what what's really crazy is like you heard what happened in China, bro? Mm-mm. You know they made an artificial sun? Oh no, I did hear about that. That's fucking nuts. That's How do you what, replicate the sun? That's what I'm saying, my nigga. Like that is that that isn't like I can't even fathom how much heat the sun has, to be honest. Cut. Like imagine making a whole sun. Like literally a artificial sun. Nobody ever thought about that. Like that's mm-hmm. like the Jetsons type future. Yeah. So and like did you see like the video of it? No. Nah. Like they it literally lit up the whole sky. You like it was the sun. Yes. Like it was there's a video on TikTok. The the whole sky lit up. And it was nighttime. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You just see the shit just it was like a freaking it was like mm-hmm. a event. How do you even work on something like that? Because it get like it's so like you you can't even get near the sun. That's like, what I'm saying. That's scary. So like what makes you not think they can't control yeah, the weather? If they made a whole sun China made a whole sun. Yeah. And supposedly we're more advanced than China. Damn. That's crazy. Damn, I never even thought about that. Like, that shit scares me, my nigga. Like, I don't yeah, know what yeah. the fuck they got. That's wild. Man. Like, because, like, I be thinking, like, how do they know, like, what's going to happen in the next two, a couple of days? Mm-hmm. Like, do they just see the, the shit coming? Or does it, does it sense it? Is it? Maybe it's just the satellites in the air and shit yeah. like that. But Yeah, they probably can. They, they, they definitely probably can. Like, uh, control it? Yeah. I like there's a there's a I say it's like a 60% chance I mean so like the whole thing with like COVID and stuff they think like a lot of people think it's like population control like they need to kill the population so like mm-hmm. in terms of this they could 100% just cause an earthquake tsunami mm. take a couple people out population control it's possible that's true cause like they be teaching us how this shit happens but that shit might not be true we can't exactly. I'm telling you I, I said this before bro I feel like the truth you don't know what's true unless you physically see it yourself. Mm-hmm. Everything else, you're just trusting people, mm-hmm. just trusting people's opinions. We don't know anything they don't want us to. to exactly, be like for earthquakes, they might just have like a little machine that just shakes the ground because mm-hmm. they could do that. I'm not 100%, gonna lie, hundred percent. That's probably way too easy to do to be honest with their money and stuff. Exactly, shit, my nigga. If they can make heart attack guns, <laughs> flying cars, my nigga, yeah. what what could stop them from making a like that's a weapon, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Imagine we find a war, just a random tsunami comes. Mm-hmm. It's deep. <laughs> like, no, literally. What are you gonna do? Shoot the water? It's done up. Like, like, it's, like it's slow. Yeah. Hey, bro. Especially and they made, they made the atomic bomb. How many years ago was that? I think it was like 1940 something. 1940, so almost a hundred years ago. That was a whole bomb. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised the Japanese still don't hate us to this day. No, they got it. They have to. They have to have a little hatred. That was crazy. Two. I mean, like they did us dirty. Don't get us wrong. But yeah, we of fucking course. cleaned them out. Like we just like twice, twice, <laughs> twice. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like that's so scary, my yeah. nigga. Like nobody ever seen that shit before. Just imagine, like just imagine. How did how did how was life that day of the bomb for America? Yeah. Like did they say, oh, we're about to launch a nuke? No, I think they kept under wraps until they did it. To be honest, until it came out into the media, shit like that. Yeah. Like oh, we just nuked Japan. Yeah, I would have been scared. I'm not gonna lie. If we nuke, I'm like, if they got this shit. What if we have this shit? What? Why can't they just do it back? Like niggas, exactly. Like imagine the imagine the rules were reversed, and it happened to us. That should that should land in downtown Newark. I'd literally hate them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, if that should land in like downtown Newark, half of us wouldn't be here. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Here. Um, no, literally no. So um, I, I think it was like back in high school. Someone was saying one of the teachers was like, like a nuke the size of an M M&M and M would easily clear out at least three towns right here. Like if they dropped it right here. Three towns over would still the size of an M M&M, and M, like just dropped it. So how big was the nuke? That shit was like a big. It was a fucking. It was like a house bomb. Like <laughs> it was a big fucking boy. Dang, I wonder who dropped that shit. <laughs> Honestly, that nigga's a dickhead. Let it be known that like no way he died with a good like a good conscience. No way, <laughs> no knowing way that he just decimated like 
hella people. Like, did it was they didn't like launch it. They it was like on a plane, right? Mm-hmm. They okay. dropped it down. So who was the nigga? I want to know who the pilot was. Who's the grandkids? That's a dickhead. Like, if I was a Japanese, whoever whoever his get grandkids are, I would not fuck with. Nope. I'm like, I know they have a hatred to Japanese. I know. Like, when you was in Japan, like, did you feel like they did or um, not? Um, honestly, well, some people do because technically, like, we're basing. We, we, we took over, the, like, we took their land, basically. So some of them, you know, don't like us. But I, I, like, as a whole, Japanese people are really fucking polite. Like, okay. They, they're so polite, it's unbelievable. I feel like it's that because, like, how they are, like, how they're raised and how their manner is. I think so. But I feel like deep down. They probably don't. Like, they're holding it They in. probably don't. Like, <laughs> no. Nah. Hundred percent. Like in public, they're like, "Oh, oh this." Yeah. But in the at back of the crib, they're like, "Yo, these stupid Americans, smelly." Probably. I, I feel, don't blame them because really you know don't. how they 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 really rely on their honor and shit like mm-hmm. that, and like their whole like demeanor is like they that's what they care about the most. No, nah, yeah. Plus, I out of the like the Americans that they see is not a good example because like <laughs> especially the bro like you know. I don't care about them. Fuck the military. You guys are dickheads. I was one of them, so don't get me wrong. Like we're 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 dickheads. We just go out in town and just fuck shit up because we can. Who the fuck's gonna stop us? So absolutely, we show our asses to them a lot. So I wouldn't blame if they didn't. Thanks. Like so that's really that's a true stereotype. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, no, hundred percent. What would y'all do? Whatever. We just get drunk. So, oh man. Oh, so um, we were in a taxi one time coming back to base. Yeah. And I can't. Some of the words that were said, I'm not allowed to say, or else this whole video will get demonetized. There's never some <laughs> nasty racism going on in that taxi because wow. he was drunk. Yeah. Who are you? No. Oh, somebody? Yeah, I know how to conduct myself. Yeah, but one of my friends is a little bit of an animal. So. Wow. Saying some crazy stuff in that taxi to that guy. Dang. Yeah. So how did you guys, like, did they speak a little bit of English? Um, Some do. So some, like, some just don't give a shit. Oh, really? Yeah, they have no interest in trying to learn our language. <laughs> what do they care? We're in their town. So. That's true. That's true. So was it like weird living there? Um, No, because we're on base most of the time. But when you go out, um, it's a little bit weird. It's a bit of a culture shock. They're really polite. They don't let you tip. Stuff really? like that. Yeah. Mm. Dang. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> hey, J- Japanese people, bro. We love y'all, bro. I love your food. We love your your anime. I'm a big fan. Yeah. So big fan. <laughs> if you guys got something in the raps, it wasn't us. Go send yeah, it to true. the West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Go send over it. there or something. <laughs> Go send it to Washington, D.C. Don't hit uh, downtown Newark. But, Jersey um, certified loves Japan. Facts, facts, facts. But um, all right, I got a would you rather question for you. Mm-hmm. Would you rather, like for the rest of your life, be an ant or be a fly? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Um... <laughs> flies are so fuck. I have to be an ant. I, I think flies are the most repulsive shit on this planet. Yeah, they're, they're maggots. They're really they, disgusting. They just wipe their hands together like this all the time. Yeah. These fucking waste. I hate flies. They're so gross. Like I hate flies. I hate mosquitoes. Yeah. Like honestly, I feel like there's no need for a mosquito no, in this the, world. Mosquitoes have zero purpose. Like so, like why can't we just like kill them off the face of the earth? I don't know. Like just make them go extinct. I don't know. Like because they have no fucking purpose. All they do is just bite. They spread disease. Like it's. Really, just the dickhead of the forest. No, literally, this is the most <laughs> dickhead animal ever. Like this is just our insect. It's so stupid. I hate mosquitoes. First of all, I hate bugs. Yeah, Sorry. I do too. I hate them. I, all bugs should die except no, bees. Seriously, maybe some bugs that help us, like bees and shit like yeah. that. But the other things, ants, all y'all cockroaches. Cockroaches, another thing. You don't need to be alive. Yeah, well, I go bug suck where they go. Oh, spiders! You know, kill the other bugs. Bugs didn't exist. Spiders didn't need to exist. Facts, They're fucking facts. useless. Exactly. But I would be an ant too. The an reason ant. why is because you know flies die in like a week. Mm-hmm, that is true. And like ants, all you gotta do is avoid being stepped on. But the thing with ants is you're being controlled your whole life. That is true. You are you're basically <laughs> a hive mind. Exactly. Damn. And like fly, you're like flying around by yourself. You could fly, but you might die in a week. You're gonna die. Like I, I seen the lifespan of a regular house fly. I think it was like a month. No, yeah, they die extremely quick. Plus, I'm hunting you first and foremost. <laughs> if I catch, no, nah, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you're in my fucking house and you're a fly, it's done up for you. You stand no chance. I will fucking get you, like, find you all day. I don't care until you're dead. Like, I'd be, a, like, you ever be, like, sleeping and you, like, hear a fly? Mm-hmm. I'd be scared as hell it's gonna, like, fly in my mouth while I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. No, apparently on average, in the average human life, you will swallow at least three to four bugs. I know. I heard about that. I hope I did my three to four already. <laughs> <I> no <don't laughs> cap. Body, no cap. I hope I did. But you're gonna be an ant, right? Uh, Yeah, no. I mean, it's not that bad. You know, they're actually... You know, you colonize, you're underground, chilling. Yeah, you know. You a bunch of your boys with you. You could carry stuff like three times your weight if you have your boys with you. It's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I get to, I have to protect the queen the whole my whole life. Yeah. I think it's your only purpose, really. I think a normal ant lives like four years without if it doesn't like get hurt. It's not a bad life. That's not bad. That's not too bad. But like niggas like me, 
I hate bugs. I used to pour water down their ant holes. Oh, yeah, me too. I used to shoot the shit with the watering <laughs> hose. It used to be, I used to have a tree in the front. Yeah. There used to be like a whole ant colony in there. Just shoot the watering hose through That's there. Right. Just watch them run away. <laughs> exactly. Like, you ever watch Ant Bully? Mm hmm. Shit, I was that Ant Bully. So respect to him. Like, the word up, Ant Bully's the man. Like, I don't know, but he, gangster. he turned into one of them, bro. He got true. soft. He, he got sure soft. Did. He sure did. We don't got no love for ants. Nah. But, uh, oh, I got another one. Mm hmm. Would you rather have finger sized legs or. <laughs> Leg size fingers. <laughs> mm. So imagine your fingers as long as your legs. Nah, bro, that's just too inconvenient. <laughs> I can't play video games. Like, it's done up. <laughs> I can't drive. I I just gotta have short legs. Bro. I think I might have short legs too, cause like, like if I had, <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like, bro, like. Wait, so does my rest of my body stay proportional? Yeah, it's just nah, like it's so like, weird. Like your legs just look. Like it looks like your legs, like you still got feet, but it's just the size of your finger. But like I'm, just, you know what? I'm just gonna be in a wheelchair all my life. I'm just yeah, gonna have just shorts on. I think I just amputate my yeah. fingers technically. But what if you can't amputate? Them? You're just gonna like have little little things go like this. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not no cap. I'm gonna be in a wheelchair all my life. But like yeah. if because like if I had uh leg, uh, what's it called? Leg size fingers. Like I'm gonna look so deformed. No, it's not enough for you. Like maybe I could be nice at basketball, I could block shots nah, and shit. Bro. But like I can't. I'm gonna be. You can't go. You can't do regular day activities. I'm not letting you in my McDonald's. <laughs> you come in with that shit, you're getting kicked out. I'm calling the police. Like imagine that shit. That shit's like Google gadget shits, my <laughs> nigga. Like that shit, like long in long as ET finger. Nah, yeah. Like you can't do anything. In, like, you, honestly, like almost everything that you thought you could do comfortably, use the bathroom. Like it's done. Oh, up. You, you can't, can't even fit do your anything. hand in the. You no. can't even wipe your ass. No. That's it's like done up. that's like girls getting them long ass nails. Mm-hmm. Like another off topic, off topic. Mm. Girls with them long ass nails, like the shits go like this. They don't wipe their ass. They I'm, can't. So how, how you tell me they wipe their ass? I'm judging them. If you got <laughs> long ass nails like this, I know your ass dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's got to be true. <laughs> like, like ain't no way in hell. Either your nails dirty, your hands dirty, your ass dirty. One of the three is dirty. All three. Like unless you go in, the, unless you take a shit and you gotta go in the shower afterwards and wipe your ass off, that's hella work. Even then, you're nasty. I don't care if if you're not wipe, <laughs> nah, bro, you're nasty. It's done. It's done up. <laughs> that was just a little off topic. That was yeah. just a little off topic. But yeah, I'm gonna have finger sized legs. No, hundred percent. Like just Step go. The route to just go. look like Stephen Hawking's with a little <laughs> my little uh, wheelchair and shit. Just scoot uh-huh. around, scoot around and shit. I think that's cool. No, it ain't too bad. That ain't too bad of a life. <laughs> All right. Oh. I got a, I got a subject I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. You ever have that random voice in the back of your head telling you to do like dumb shit? I know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Every day of my fucking life, like, bro. Like say like you driving, right? Yeah. I'm like, yo, what if I just like spun this wheel? Yo, that's <laughs> yo. Literally yesterday, bro. I'm driving and like, first of all, my mom's already like, it's it's already black out because it's snowed yesterday and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what if I just like do like a 360 back? <laughs> like it was done up. Like my car just tilted over. I explode in the middle of that. <laughs> I be thinking about that shit all the time. Like, I be driving like, yo, like, I'm holding this shit pretty steady. Like, what if I just, like, and just, like, flip? (laughs) Or, like, if I'm cooking food, I'm like, yo, how do I know this pan is hot? Like, like I could hear, I could feel the heat coming on, but what if I put my hand there? Like, nah, yeah. Like I, I've definitely looked at my dog before. I'm like, I could literally just kill you right now. Like, <laughs> there's nothing you could do about it. Like, like it's like you know, I don't want to. But like, back of my head's like, I could literally just end your life. What the fuck are you gonna do? Your dog. Like, it's done up, right? Like, you know, <laughs> that's really facts. Like, you like, I could really just do some crazy shit, and that's and I feel like it's like like you know like devil on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what it is. A hundred percent. Like, ain't no way. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think if you try to tell me do some crazy things, bro. <laughs> Especially most of the time when I'm driving, bro. Some out of pocket shit, to be honest. Shit, cause like you know when you're driving, like you ever like, like you just like, you just be it's like autopilot, mm-hmm. like like no, talk, for real. Like to all my people that don't know how to drive it, like my young guys that doing their drive test, like once you learn how to drive, that's just when they say driving is like riding a bike. It's literally like driving it's like a bike. nature. Like it's weird how driving is so natural. No, yeah, literally. Like uh, there'll be times I'm listening to a song, and I'll zone out. And I'll come back to it like the the last part of the song. I'm like, how the fuck did I even get where I am right now? That's what I'm like, saying. Where, where am I? Like there'd be times like I'm going to practice or school, and yeah. it's like I don't even think about it, and mm-hmm. I already just get there. Like mm-hmm. I'm just thinking about something, and like there'd be times I have to pick up like Tyrone to go to school or go to yeah. practice, and I'm like I'm already on 22. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot this nigga, and it's like I'm trying, I'm remembering to pick him up, but like I just didn't do it because like, yeah. I'm on autopilot. But hey, bro, shit is crazy. Facts. That's I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just we could pick it up so fast. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But you got anything you want to talk about, my brother? Um. Got any other topics? Any would you rather's? Any questions you want to ask me? 
You want to go back on the girl subject? Um, <laughs> Chill. Actually, real quick. Actually, real, real quick. Yeah. And I'm sorry to the female audience. Oh, God. Makeup's ugly. I don't care. You can't <laughs> tell me otherwise. I don't give a fuck. Like, okay, so to an extent, you know, sure. But if, like, I guess the best way to put it, right? So if you're into, like, a, a movie date, that kind of makeup's acceptable. But when you're going to, like, a like a birthday party or, like, a wedding or something, you're ugly as fuck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's my opinion. I'm just a regular guy. I know it doesn't mean much, but, like, most of us are thinking it. I don't care if we don't tell you. I think it's ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut it out. It's I'm not, not going to lie. Like, wearing makeup for a movie date is kind of mid. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, we're watching a movie. Exactly. And, like... <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm sorry. It's a bad take to the females and, you know, whatever. But, like, I'm telling you, it's what we're thinking. It is. I'm sorry. Like a good amount of makeup, like like uh, what's that called? Jay, what's that shit called? Mascara. Mm-hmm. Mascara is fine. It's oh, fine. Yeah. Lip gloss is fine. Mm-hmm. But once, like, if you want to beat your face pause for like <laughs> three hours, just to go, to, like, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. You look nuts. Like, if your neck isn't the same color as your face, you're beat. Like, <laughs> you look crazy. Speak to them, bro. That's facts. Can't if you take that shit. like, they be trying to make themselves look more tan and shit. Like, and they're like what oranges. Are you doing? What are you doing? That's bad makeups. That's bad. That's really bad. And like, like about the movie shit, right? Like, if you really like to go put makeup on for three hours to go to a movie date is crazy. Crazy. Like you're in the dark. He's not gonna look at you. Like, I get it. Like it's a feeling, you know. You know, look good, feel good. But we're like, watching Spider Man, we like he's not gonna look at you because your man's not jacking you with no makeup. That's not your man. Bro. I'm that's sorry. Facts. Like that's not your man. My if, bad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If your man be telling you to like, like constantly, like, oh yeah, put like if if you're doing your makeup for three hours, and he doesn't be like, oh, you don't have to put makeup on today. On today, you might mm-hmm. look a little hit. <laughs> 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 might look a little hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. I remember I was me and Jay went to the movies, mm. and um, what was it talking about? We was uh, somebody we was I forgot what movies watching, and there was a couple there, and they looked like they was dressed to go to like a like Ruth Chris. <laughs> I'm like me and Jay had our sweats on and a hoodie, and I'm like I know he he tricked the fuck out this girl. No, he definitely did. Like he told her like oh we going on a date, and something went left, and she mad as hell sitting there watching fucking um. Fucking uh, don't breathe too, with the dress on, <laughs> sparkly ass dress, high heels. I'm like, yo, nah, it's looking crazy. I'd be mad as shit too. That shit's some, that's some funny shit, bro. I'm like, yo, shout out that man though. <laughs> I don't think they lasted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know she was pissed off, bro. She did all that <laughs> just to watch a movie, unless unless they went on the date before and watched yeah, the movie. Man. That's tough. But what I'm seeing right now, it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie, but. Is that what you want to talk about, my brother? Um, yeah. All right. But shout out to you, my brother, again for another course, podcast, brother. man. Appreciate another good it. podcast. But shout out to y'all people for watching us again uh, at No Records Podcast, episode number 22. And if you haven't already, follow us on all the socials. The socials will be linked down below. If you want to follow Jason on Instagram, I'm going to put it in the bio on YouTube. And if you haven't already, subscribe, comment something down below, and push and hit the post notification button so you know when all the episodes come in every weekend. Hopefully on Sundays, maybe Saturdays if I'm feeling if I'm feeling good that week if I have nothing to do. But yeah, you got anything you want to say, bro? Hey, bro, it's Jr. and um, I appreciate being on and um, hit him up on TikTok and Instagram and all that good stuff and uh, appreciate you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.